Hey, yeah. What a day. What a day, Joseph. Yeah. We've had a good weekend. Some of us. Anyway, I won't go into it too much because he's obviously still a bit hurt like the rest of his team. Anyway, on to the job. Should we talk about it now? Get over no, the no, no, no. Basically. Oh, no, no. Uh, no? Okay, don't want to be in it. Okay. We beat him 50 points, like I said. 52-17. 52-17. was a good game. Joe smashed me a few times. He scored a try in between my legs. Um, but yeah, it was a good game. Yeah, we'll be playing him again. Uh, when's the fixture? Next year. Next year. Okay, anyway. Good weekend all round. Um, Friday we're building this gable end, but usually when we build these, the soffit, yeah, is whatever the wall is, where the wall's meant to go, the soffit is there. So I use the soffit, edge of the soffit as a guide. So before I start a house, I'll always go up and measure from the timber frame to the edge of the soffit um, to see what the gap is because sometimes I've been saying how it's like a, a 50 mil cavity and I go up and it's like 175 I know then that if I, if I was to start at 150 when I come to the top I'm like shit so they've had to like recut the soffit or sometimes like you can Let's say 160, you can kind of lose it on the way up or or whatever, or you you measure before and you just know that it's going to be on the big side or vice versa. If it's 40, well, you, you tell them that it's not right before you get to it, you know. But here, it's like, oh, you know, 100 mil in, so there's no way I'm going to lose 50 mil. And the, there would be no cavity either way. So what they've told me to do is basically build it up to the soffit but leave a 25 mil gap all the way up which is like not ideal because you're able to lose a lot of the block work like, like the cuts don't have to be perfect in the soffit you know um, but now they do so hang on Sean basically have to cut like 25 mil all the way up So uh, what I'm going to get Joe to do now, I'm going to show him how to do the cuts. I'm going to start running in brickwork on the other side, but I'm going to show him how to do the cuts. And uh, basically I bought one of these angled levels. I did have one, but it's gone missing. So I'll probably find it in the back of the van or something. So you just get it, find the angle, tighten it up. Okay, on this one now, yeah? Uh, like here. There's two ways of measuring it. I would either measure the perk, because I know the perks are in line, yeah? Kind of. Okay, so that was like five mil over. So I'll just go five mil over. And what I want to do is measure that is 145. So minus 25 mil at the top, minus 10 mil bed, 145. So it's going to be 110. So I know then when I cut a block, Cut that, and that'll fit right in. Perfect, 25 mil. So 
don't call it fate. How are you? So, uh, end of the day, show it was done. Haven't been that slow, just been going steady, steady eddy today. So, just counted up, uh, it's probably like 350 brick and a hundred, just under 150 block. So, I'll build on top of the uh, scaffolding tomorrow. So we've pulled that line through and through. So we've got the back as well, the black back block work, yeah. Um, as well as doing all them cuts on the gable end. I haven't even had a look at them. Joe, are they any good? Yeah? Okay, let's have a look at his cuts, you know. Scaff needs a bit of a clean. Right, oh yeah, oh look at that. Not bad. Not bad to think he's like second year apprentice. No, just that his third year. I mean, it's not bad that you know. Yeah, yeah, fair play to him. Right, see you tomorrow. Hi, it's like Tuesday half eleven. Uh sent a message off. Paddy Maguire. Oh my god, what the fuck are they? Mm. I need to go get my hair sorted. Fucking hell. Pork chops! Yes please sir. Um anyway, a <laughs> fucking Built this this morning. Look at that. Look at. I don't know if you can see that. She. Fucking look at that. Oh, look at that. I built another one. Here's one I prepared earlier. Rather than um, turn this down. Rather than. Like we did on the other side, built two courses, two courses. Um, I'm gonna. I just thought, fuck it, I'll, I'll just build the big. You know where the expansion joint is, and then run these in. A concrete lintels on these jobs, on this job. So uh, something else I'm not used to doing. Well, obviously a concrete lintel, fucking piece of piss, isn't it? But what I mean is, usually got these. Uh, angle lintels um, which are a pain in the ass to be honest with you so I'm all for these concrete lintels and you just there, there was a th that was already like that so I just pulled it off took the damp and uh, and then you just go go help from there there was a staple done like that you know yeah jobs are good then. right I'll give you update again after sound Hey, slow bricky here. Uh, done that gable end now, yeah? Fucking zoom in here now. Can you zoom in this? I don't know how to zoom in. Basically, the gable end's done. There's a few little cuts to do for Joe tomorrow. And I started on the back, so. The reason why I'm out of breath is. Uh, while well, Sean was pointing, I've just had a quick workout on the bar thing. Done three sets of dips and uh, three sets of, I don't know, like things with abs. Uh, right, see you later.
Another wet one. Another wet week. Try and do what I can today. Uh, I'm going to register the baby today. So I wasn't really going to be working all day. I'm going there this afternoon. So try and do what I can. Um, that job in Tyler Bay wants me back. So I'll be back there tomorrow. Um, not not the one with the big steels. Yeah, well, they're all got steels. Uh, I'll show you tomorrow. Um, the guy. The Vicky that I had there working, he's gone to another job, so he's um, so he's left for about two weeks. He said he'll be back in two weeks. So uh, he, we always knew that. So I just have to go there and do what I can, and then I'll be back here full time, hopefully. But I need to finish off all the other. Well, they're not little jobs, but all the other jobs before I can be here full time. Yeah, I'm laying in the rain, laying in the rain. Ugh. I'm back in Tyler Bay. It's Thursday, and I'll show you what we're doing. Hi, okay, so it's been a while since we were here and I'll just show you up on the garage now. Um, so the joists went down um, and then whilst I was off for that week, um, right, GoPro turned itself off. So got a bit of charge now, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm on the back here, um, building above these steels, right? So what I've done is I've filled and between the steels there level block so I can put the damp course all the way through um, what I've done is I've just put profiles on the on there so I can just run the line through um, because once you put once you build <coughs> on these and you pull your line tight it just wants to move the block you know so better off with profiles um, obviously the cavity size and the roof is going to have two little pitched roofs like this, yeah? So you have a steel beam at the top, a pad stone, pad stone in the wall here, level, um, and then a lower level pad stone with um, top of that post there. There's a steel sitting on that post going in, so there's going to be like a, a little valley in the roof here. So that's what we're building. Um, so obviously the steel doesn't work to block gauge or any of this gauge. So what I'm going to do is just going to start a new gauge from the top of steel here. And then Sean us, that lad, is cutting block here um, for this height here from this plate to that steel. So he's cutting them. So when I lay on that now all the way through, wall tie and then I'm back to gauge. All right, bye. Scar tissue that I wish you saw Sock after Mr. Know It All I close your eyes and I kiss you Cause with the birds I'll share With the birds I'll share this
that's what you want. Bit of that. Hi, right. So I need to find out the measurement now for these pads from here. Um, so I've got the drawing on the phone here. So it's um, this measurement, nine. This one. So get that there. So I'll get that now, three, four, or one. Minus. Two two nine six two two nine six equals one meter one oh five off there. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, look at that. Oh, we eat like kings. Hi, so we're in the canteen stroke kitchen having an open, honest discussion about what would you say? Council culture. Council culture. Now, Joe JLo just show me a uh, photo of some person dressed. No, Great, ba Great British Bake Off. Bake Off yeah. has. Dressed like Mexican people and they, what, got in trouble for it or something. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, what the offended. fuck? How are you getting offended from wearing like a, a sombrero and a poncho? I mean, fucking, I won't be able to wear one soon. Anyway, we were saying Halloween will be uh, cancelled soon because someone will be offended that, you know, the dead person is in the ground and, they, you know, he can't wear a skeleton suit because it offends me. Um, because, you know... The, yeah, their father might have passed away. Yeah, they're a skeleton now. They're a skeleton so now, so you can't, so can't cancel Halloween. Like, <laughs> fuck. Shut up. Clever clogs over here. Decided to build too much. The winds just pushed these out of plumb a little bit. So, um, I've had to just back it up with some block on flat here and push it back plumb best I can. Oh, anyway, so I've stopped on here now. Uh, I'm gonna have to knock out some pockets in this wall. Scaffolders have been and gone, so. All for the games today, isn't it, J Lo? Is that you? <laughs> Come on. Right. In a nutshell, what I've done is set up the laser level, switch it back on, yeah? And there's a steel going off the top of in this wind post onto this steel. Now, fuck you, I don't even know why, yeah? I thought, it didn't, it didn't even twig to me, but this is lower than this. I thought I would have had to put a padstone on that. 
Uh, I've spoken to the client what he's told me to do. So it's about 70 mil, 60 mil. So what he wants me to do is notch the steel here so it goes into that thing sticking out there. And then he's going to get a welder here to weld it all in. So I need to work out now what I'm doing. Health and safety is fucking to your ears. Come here, don't worry. Oh, yeah, come on, eh? You can stand through that okay, camera so no one will on that camera. Yeah, go stand in front of the camera. Sonny, move. Stop up. Lift it up. Will that go in there now? No. No? No. Alright, I'm going to have to lift it over the block. You're oh, lifting it all oh, in, just going for it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You all just lift and go for it. Dad, you lift and go for it. Which first one or second one? Up, uh, higher. That's it. No. Right, more one or two. It's got level. <laughs> the brick is level anyway, so it's never straight. <laughs> oh, me mommy. Ooh la la. Good. Hey, hey. One of them levels not just always level in it's Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Get it on that one. <laughs> do you think it's enough to go on the camera? Yeah. Yeah? Ooh. We just won't show this end of it, will we? Ooh. <laughs> Sound, yeah? So we'll get the weld out. <laughs> Yeah, there's no noggins on this roof, so uh, basically the battens are coming through. Just kind of like that um, chimney thing there, yeah? So the battens are going to be flying onto the wall, so what we've done is put a batten and a string line underside, same there, all the way up down, can't go wrong. Um, they've got the Makita cut on that side, and I'm using this bad boy here. So, they're doing all right cuts. I mean, I probably have to go over it with a bit more to later, but I mean, yes, yeah, they're about. I've been having to use off cuts for now, but anyway, all good in the hood. You got the roofer, you got Seanus, JLo, Joseph, and a new lad started today, Kieran. Kieran! There he is. Oh, Straight out of Daniel line. There he is, look. See on his phone already. Got busted. Hi! <laughs> uh, right, so the joiner's pissing about down there. So I've done the pad stone height that, you know, is on the drawing. Um, in a nutshell, when you transfer that pad stone over, there's a window in the side that I'll show you later, but in a nutshell the window it's clashing with the window the ridge tiles and all that and the lead so we have to drop that pad stone now hi right so kieran first day on the job first day on site yeah uh built a corner here set up a profile over here um Basically, he's going to have a go at running in some block. So I told him, run it from this way. Yeah. 
Go and earn your money, lad. Okay. Uh, I shall do it and then I go. Okay, well, in here now, yeah. So, because of the window, um, the steel clashing with the window or the ridge tile, they've lowered the pitch of the roof. Um, so, we've done a pocket there for the padstone of steel to go in. The padstones that I'd set here, I've just um, reset that one, so I've cut out the block and brought it down. Uh, so I'm going to transfer that padstone onto here, then I'm going to move this uh, alloy tower, drop that one the same, cut these, mark that out, and then I can probably get J-Lo to knock out another pocket for me. Hey, uh, Right, uh, been asked in the comments, yeah? Uh, looking good now, are you? Uh, looking good. Yeah, what trowel do I use? Well, I don't just use one trowel. I've got two trowels. I've got a, well, they're both Spear and Jacksons, yeah? Uh, I don't know what the, is it fucking Tzaki or something it's called, I don't know. Cucumber trowel. Uh, yeah, Greek cucumber. This one I use for bricks, facing bricks, and I use this for uh, laying blocks and inside skin. And I use this big boy when I'm on the external skin because I can get in and it's so long I can like just smooth the uh, snots. I don't cut them, I plaster them in if you know what I mean but I don't get many because I haunch, haunch the bed uh, there was another question I can't remember oh um, I can't I, I don't know I'll have a look now and I'll uh, do another video my first cut come on in yeah come on fuck you know he's coming to the end of the day now Joseph is there doing his cuts he's a good lad hey he's a good lad Kieran's just scratching about are you tired yet? Yeah. show me them guns lad <laughs> Sean has fucking done his magic here making a pocket for his pastel so he's just tidying up now. Backbone of this gang he is. The fucking backbone. Yeah, take that. Take that. Oh. Worth his weight in gold, that lad. Right. Get his last padstone in. All four are in. And then uh, we'll be lifting the steels in tomorrow by hand. What's that, like two and a half metres? So. Oh. Two or three metres up. Wheat of eggs for breakfast. Voila! J Lo! Hey! Alright! What it's day possible. is it? What day is it? Thursday? Bloody hell! Come on! Saturday! Saturday! It's Saturday! Come on! Oh, let's get down! Day. You having fun there? Amazing. Hey, listen. Do you mind giving me a hand with this big steel down there? Alright. Oh, Please. Now. Yeah, we'll we'll do one of them now, yeah. Yeah, we'll put one of them on here. Right. Hydrated. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's move these steels. <laughs> so we put this in here. Roughly about 100 mil. We put it down. We were like, oh no. Too short, but it's going on the inside skin, isn't it? So panic over. Okay, I'm over my head here. Are you in? No. Yeah. Whoosh! Looking good in cricklewood. Oh, beautiful! Look at that. Only two 
slow. <laughs> slow brickly here. Hey. Joel's going to play rugby today. Good luck in the cup match. He's playing for the first team today, not the second team. So he's had promotion. Um, you know, I taught him everything I know, really. So all, all the best to him. You know, he's done his bit. He's done these cuts here, so I'll bang him in. Uh, we'll get this steel in in a minute. So did you do done a dusty though? All right, because he is dusty. Hey. So that's it for another week. Um, I'm just getting a Mackey's now for me and the kids, and I miss you. So, um, hope you like it, the videos. See you later.